Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Sing Along Jam. My name is Miss Ashley. I'm a librarian with the San Mateo County Libraries, and this is my cat, Petunia. Can you say hi, Petunia? She's looking all around. She's also shedding little gray hairs all up in my face. And her ear is twitching. See her ear twitching. And she's sniffing. Can you sniff? Hmm, what do you think she smells? <laughs> I don't know. All right, I just brought her here to say hi. Can you say bye, Petunia? She tolerates me because I give her some fish treats when she's done. <laughs> All right. Well, now it's time for us to gather up our supplies for a single lung jam. And as usual, if you can go find some kind of a cloth, like a, a dish rag, a cloth napkin, a paper towel, a tissue, a blankie, anything like that will work. And something to make noise with, which could be just about anything in your house. Uh, you could find something to bang on, like the cereal box, or something to shake, like some keys, something to cling together, like these cups. Try out different things every time there's so much you can play with. You can make your own instruments. And that's how we got all of our instruments. And now I'm going to get my instrument, which is an ukulele. <laughs> Got four strings that I plucked and played them. And we're on my neck. And we're gonna do our first song. Our theme today, all of our stories and songs are about imagination and pretend. So let's start by pretending that we're kangaroos. We're gonna bounce and bounce and stop. You ready to be a kangaroo with me? We bounce, we bounce, we stop. Did you get the stop? We bounce, we bounce, we stop. We bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we stop. Great job. Can you be a cat? Cats can kind of creep around. So we creep, kind of like tiptoeing. We creep and we creep and we stop. We creep and we creep and we stop. We creep and 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 we stop. Good creeping. It's fun to be quiet and sneaky. We're gonna have a book about that in just a minute. And now let's wiggle. Get all those wiggles out. We wiggle and we wiggle and we stop. We wiggle and we wiggle and we stop. We wiggle and 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 we stop. And now let's tickle yourself or your grown up, your brother or sister. We tickle and we tickle and we stop. We tickle, we tickle, we stop. We tickle, we tickle, we tickle, we tickle, we tickle, we tickle, we stop. And now we'll hug ourselves or our stuffed animal or dog or grown up, whatever you, whoever is near you that would like a hug. We hug, we hug, we stop. We hug, we hug, we stop. We hug, we hug, we hug, we hug, we hug, we hug, and we stop. And now let's bounce one more time. Let's time let's be bunny rabbits. We bounce, we bounce, we stop. We bounce, we bounce, we stop. We bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we stop. Yay! Well, like I said, we're gonna pretend to be lots of different things today. So I'm gonna do one of my favorite pretend songs, and it's one where we get to be firefighters. So to be firefighters, we have to pull on our big firefighter uniform. Goes all the way up. Our great big heavy, heavy firefighter coat. And our great big firefighter boots on our feet. And our firefighter hat. And now we're gonna slide down the pole. Have you ever been inside a fire station? They have a pole they can slide down to get down to the truck really, really fast. They go, whee! And now we're gonna climb inside the truck. Got your steering wheel. Here we go. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Ding, 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 ding. Oh boy, we better spray the water to put out the fire. You got your hose? Here we go. 
Hurry, hurry, spray the water. Hurry, hurry, spray the water. Hurry, hurry, spray the water. Ding, 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 ding. Let's climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Ding, 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 ding. Oh dear. Hurry, hurry, save the kitty. Hurry, hurry, save the kitty. Hurry, hurry, save the kitty. Ding, 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 ding. Let's go back to the station. We put the fire out. Hurry, hurry, back to the station. Hurry, hurry, back to the station. Hurry, hurry, back to the station. Ding, 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 ding. Yay! You can do that song over and over again and rescue different animals every time. Okay. My next, my first story today is about a ninja. Ninjas are very sneaky. They are people who creep around in the shadows. And this one has on a mask. You may have seen people wearing masks or you may have worn a mask because right now people are wearing masks. So that's how we kind of keep each other from getting sick. Just like when you sneeze, you might sneeze into your elbow like this, achoo! And so you can also wear a mask. I just got a new mask. And this, if you want to try it out, you can put your cloth around your face. Just make sure you can always breathe. If you're going to put something over your nose or your mouth, make sure to put it on your mouth and then breathe in with me. And then you can be a ninja. I'm not going to wear it because you won't be able to understand what I'm saying. But this is called Hello Ninja. It's written by N.D. Wilson and the art is by Forrest Dickinson. It's published by HarperCollins. And this is from our ebook collection called Hoopla, which is on our website at sncl.org. Get ready to be a ninja. There's the house. It looks like it got a fancy tree house here that he's climbing up inside. Oh, look, he's got his whole ninja costume on. Hello, ninja. <clears throat> yes, hello. What do ninjas do all day? <clears throat> ninjas hop. Can you hop? Ninjas chop. Can you chop with your hand? Chop. Look, he chopped that watermelon all to pieces. And the cat is eating watermelon. I don't know if Petunia would eat watermelon or not. <clears throat> Ninjas love to belly flop. That's when you dive into the water straight flat with your body flat. It kind of hurts. <laughs> Ninjas scamper. Can you scamper? Here and there. Ninjas love to cut your hair. Can you make some imaginary scissors and cut your hair? Don't do it with real scissors. Ninjas dance. Ninjas prance. Ninjas train the King of France. I didn't know that. Looks like the King of France here is a cat. I didn't, don't think that's true either, but he's very cute. Ninjas pose up on their toes. Can you stand up on your tiptoes? That's hard to do. Every time a blizzard blows. A blizzard is a great big snowstorm. The bravest ninja finds a foe. I think it's the mail carrier here to help his ninja legend grow. You see how he's sneaking in the bushes? He's so sneaky. A messenger who knows Kung Fu! A sneaky thief who is hungry too. Look, this squirrel stole the, mail, the sandwich from over here. The squirrel is even sneakier than the ninja. Ninjas dodge and ninjas spin and show those foes how ninjas win. You see the ninja? He's up in the tree. What's going on with this kitty? Do you see the kitty? He got away with the sandwich. They never break. They barely bend. But even ninja days must end. And when a ninja's sent to bed, he saddles up a dragon's head and flies away into the night to chop and dance until it's light. Doesn't this look like a nice dragon? Would you like to fly on that dragon? Hello, ninja. Shh, not yet. Ninjas ninja hard all day. They need their sleep before they play. And there goes the dragon. 
and that's called Hello Ninja. Did you have fun being a ninja? I sure did. Let's get out our cloth. We, we could make our, our cloth into a ninja mask. Or one of my favorite songs, it's actually one I do around Halloween, but you can do it any time of year. It's where we put our scarves on our head like this. And now we are a spooky ghost. Can you be a spooky ghost? We're going to flow down the street. You ready? We are scary ghosts floating down the street. Ah, freeze. Floating down the street. Freeze. Floating down the street. We are scary ghosts floating down the street. We'll scare you. Ah, oh! <laughs> I love to do that song. Let's do it one more time. Are you ready to be a ghost? <laughs> Just make sure you can see. We are scary ghosts floating down the street, floating down the street, floating down the street. We are scary ghosts floating down the street. We'll scare you. <gasps> All right, you ready to be a ninja? We can creep down the street. Let's put it over your face like this. Make sure you can breathe. Let's take a deep breath in to make sure. Here we go. We are spooky ninjas creeping down the street. Can you tiptoe? Creeping down the street. Creeping down the street. We are spooky ninjas creeping down the street. We'll scare you. <gasps> Good job. All right, let's do another song where we get to pretend to be different things. This one's called Shoe Fly. Uh, Shoe Fly is an old song. I um, th think it's written by T. Brigham Bishop a long time ago. The version I like to do is by Greg and Steve, which is a more modern group. And in this one, we get to be, pretend to be all kinds of animals. So this chorus of the song, the part we repeat goes like this. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. I'll tell you what I want to be. Let's wiggle like a wiggly worm. Can you be a wiggly worm? I wiggle, I wiggle, I wiggle like a wiggling worm. I wiggle, I wiggle, I wiggle like a wiggling worm. Oh, shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. I'll tell you what I want to be. I want to be a frog, like my friend Werbit. So can you hop like a frog? I hop, I hop, I hop like a frog. Keep hopping. I hop, I hop. I hop like a frog. Oh, shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. I'll tell you what I want to be. I want to be a crocodile. Like my friend Alice here. Actually, I don't know if she's an alligator or a crocodile, but let's call her a crocodile today. <laughs> I chomp. Can you chomp your hands? Chomp. I chomp. Chomp. I chomp like a crocodile. I chomp. I chomp. I chomp like a crocodile. Oh, shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. I'll tell you what I want to be. Yay! You can take that song and practice being all kinds of animals that you would like to be. And now it's time for our next book, which is also about pretending. This one is called Turtles Penguin Day. And this one is by Valerie Gorbachev, published by Alfred A. Knopf. And this one is from Overdrive on our um, ebook collection at smcl.org. So this is a turtle, but he's pretending to be a penguin. You see, he's wearing a coat. 
And he's got a penguin book. Can you be a penguin? Penguins, they waddle. I can't really demonstrate because you can't see my feet, but they put their feet close together and they waddle. Can you waddle with your feet close together? And they live where it is very, very cold on in Antarctica. One night, Father Turtle read Little Turtle a story about penguins. When Little Turtle fell asleep, he dreamed he was a penguin. He played on the ice and dove into the water and swam and splashed with the other penguins. In the morning, Little Turtle decided he wanted to be a penguin. He put on his red slippers and waddled from side to side. Can you waddle from side to side? After breakfast, Little Turtle had an idea. He went up to the attic and found his grandfather's black jacket in an old chest and he put it on. Now I look like a real penguin, said Little Turtle, staring at himself in the mirror. Hurry up, honey, said Mother Turtle, or you'll be late for school. I'm ready, said Little Turtle. You can't go to school in a funny costume, said Mother Turtle. It's not a funny costume, said Little Turtle. I'm a penguin. And then he put the book about penguins into his backpack and waddled outside to the school bus. Can you waddle? Hello, Little Turtle, called the kids on the school bus. Great costume. Thank you, said Little Turtle. I'm a penguin from the South Pole. Miss Dog, look, cried the children when they got to school. We have a penguin in our class. Oh, my, said Mrs. Dog. Why do you look like a penguin today, Little Turtle? Because Daddy read me this book about penguins last night, said Little Turtle. I love penguins. I love waddling from side to side like penguins do. Can you waddle? I love sliding on my belly like penguins do. I even love to sleep standing up like penguins do, said Little Turtle. Can you sleep standing up? <sniffs> we want to be penguins too, cried all the children. So while Mrs. Dog read to them from the penguin book, they all tried to pass balls to each other using just their feet, the way penguins do with their eggs. Did you know that? It's something you can try at home, but when the penguin, the, the mom, mommy penguin lays an egg, she passes it to the daddy penguin and he carries it around on his feet. You could try putting a little ball on your feet, like this little ball here, and walking around. It's hard. I don't know how they do it. And when they had recess, Little Turtle and his friends slid down the slide on their bellies, pretending they were penguins sliding on the ice. During music time, they all danced a waddling penguin dance. And at nap time, all of them dreamed penguin dreams. How is school today? asked Mother Turtle when Little Turtle came home. We had a penguin day, said Little Turtle. It was great. That night, Little Turtle ate fish-shaped crackers with dinner because penguins love fish. Do you like fish-shaped crackers? Goldfish crackers. And before he went to sleep, Little Turtle brushed his penguin beak. Even when Little Turtle got into bed, he still pretended to be diving and swimming with his penguin friends. Then Father Turtle brought a new bedtime story to read. This is the story of a little monkey who lives in a beautiful jungle, he said. Really, said Little Turtle, a monkey? And when Little Turtle fell asleep that night, he dreamed he was a funny little monkey. And there's some facts about penguins here. So that one is called Turtle's Penguin Day. Do you wanna be a monkey with me? This is a funny song about a monkey. Um, it's a monkey that copies whatever you do. So it goes like this. When you clap, clap, clap your hands, the monkey clap, clap, claps his hands. Monkey see and monkey do, the monkey does the same as you. When you make a funny face, blah, 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 blah. the monkey makes a funny face. Blah, 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 blah. Monkey see and monkey do, the monkey does the same as you. Can you jump up and down? When you jump up and down, the monkey jumps up and down. Monkey see and monkey do, the monkey does the same as you. Can you turn around? 
When you turn yourself around, the monkey turns himself around. Monkey see and monkey do. The monkey does the same as you. Yay! That's another fun one you can do at home and add in lots of different motion for the monkey. Okay, it's time for our play along songs. And for this, I have a different instrument. It's got four strings, just like my ukulele. This is called a dulcimer. It sounds different though. All right. There are different kinds of dulcimers. This one's called a travel dulcimer. But this is a song I wrote about penguins because I love penguins. They're really like eat animals. You got your instruments to play along with? I am a penguin. I am a penguin. My wings cannot fly. Not like the petrels and goats in the sky. But put me in the water and then you will see. There's no bird in the ocean can fly as fast as me. On land I may waddle and look quite absurd. A fly glisten feathered, black and white bird. But put me in the water and then you will see. There's no bird in the ocean can fly as fast as me. Sorry. My home is the ice where we huddle for heat. I carry my egg on the top of my feet. But put me in the water and then you will see. There's no bird in the ocean can fly as fast as me. I am a thing when my wings cannot fly. But the ice is my home and the sea is my sky. Just put me in the water and then you will see There's no bird in the ocean can fly as fast as me All right, before we end with our last song, I always like to leave you with a little project you can do at home. I like to find things that are maybe not too messy. This one is, it can be messy, but it's not terribly messy. What you need is a jar or some kind of container and a piece of paper that will fit inside your jar. So I cut this one. You might need a little help from your grown-up to get the right size paper and you stick your paper inside your jar just like that. And now comes the fun part. If you have paint at home, you can put paint in your jar just a little yellow. If you don't have paint, if you have something like food coloring or even like some spices you could mix with a little bit of water, anything that makes something colorful. So I have pink here, pink paint. You see the pink paint and the yellow paint down there? I'm going to do a little bit of orange as well. So that part's a little messy. The part that isn't messy though is you put your lid on your jar. Seal it up tight. And then you shake it. And the paint's going to spread all up the paper. Can you see my paper? Now to make it a little more interesting, you can put something small inside your jar like a paper clip or a marble. And that is even more fun because it'll make a noise and that paper clip will paint your paper for you. That also makes noise. It's the best. Now what I would do, the part that's going to be so hard, you can see your painting inside the jar, but you might want to wait until it dries or you could take the lid off and let it dry inside the jar for a little while before you take it out so you don't get super messy. I did one earlier today that turned out like this. They're all gonna turn out differently depending on what colors you used and how it got shaken around. And that's called painting in a jar. So there's lots of different ways you can paint. All right, whoops, stay. I almost lost my dulcimer, stay. 
But that's all the time we have today. So we're going to end with our song Freight Train, which again was written by Elizabeth Cotton. And it's another great imagination song. The version we do is by Elizabeth Mitchell, um, where she takes her imaginary train all around the world, which is one of my favorite things about this song right now. Here we go. You got your instruments? Here we go. attending with you today. I hope you will take some of these ideas and pretend to be different animals and people in your house. You can be a ninja with your cloth or if, if, I'm, if you have a mask like my new Hello Kitty mask, you can be a ninja or you can be a firefighter or you can be different kinds of animals. Lots of ways to pretend. And I hope you will come back tonight for uh, Family Storytime with Michelle at 7 o'clock and tomorrow at 3.30 on Thursdays you can do a yoga story time with Rachel where you get to pretend to be lots of animals and take on lots of different poses. So I hope you will come back to smcl.org to check out those programs and I'll see you next time.